Hey, it's Kyle here, and today I'll be continuing my series of videos where I explore the animated uh, series in the Star Wars universe. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, basically I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And in this series of videos, I've been uh, watching all the animated series in the Star Wars universe. Um, like I said, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I never watched any of the animated content. But with all the crazy uh, stuff going on in 2020 with the pandemic, being at home, having a lot of free time on my hands, <laughs> I decided that now is the time finally to catch up on all this awesome Star Wars animated content that I've heard a ton about. Um, so in my previous videos, I've already uh, watched all the seasons for Clone Wars and Rebels and did a review for each season. I'm now starting Star Wars Resistance. So today's video will focus on the first season of Star Wars Resistance. So some overall thoughts on um, the first season. Um, one, I know I'd heard about um, this before passing. I didn't really know what it was about until I actually watched this first season, that the animation style of Star Wars Resistance was very polarizing. And I can understand why, because it is very different from Clone Wars and Rebels. And I would say like the first episode, it was a little jarring, but after I got used to it, I was really okay with it. And I was, um, to me, I'm perfectly fine if they want to um, change stuff up and try different styles of animation. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, it just took me about an episode to get used to it, but once I did, I was perfectly fine with it. Um, characters, um, so I think my biggest issue with uh, Resistance is the main character, Kaz. Um, and there's elements of Kaz I really like. Uh, you know, he's this young New Republic pilot who decides to join the Resistance and start fighting the um, First Order. And um, like I said, there's elements I like. You know, he's, he has some charisma, he's funny, but he comes across as too buffoonish. Um, and in some cases, it's just absolutely stupid. And he, you're like, well, you were a New Republic pilot. I know in Star Wars Resistance, he's basically a new spy. So there should be a learning curve, you know, and that type of stuff. That's complete. But I think they took it went too far. And in some elements, he was, he was almost coming across as like a Jar Jar character where he was constantly... Uh, being clumsy, making dumb dis mistakes, being very naive, and I think they just took it too far. If they'd scaled it back a little bit, I think he would have been a much more um, interesting character. Instead, he came across as very cartoonish, which I know sounds weird being as an animated series, but I think he came across more as almost kind of like a, a Scooby-Doo and Shaggy type character. And instead of the other characters in this series and the previous series are, were real wound up characters that um, honestly you could have transferred those same characters to a movie or a Star Wars book and they would have stand, you know, fit right in. Where um, Kaz was this very cartoonish, almost insanely incompetent in some cases. Um, so I think that was a, a, a issue with the first season of, of Resistance. Uh, but there were still elements of Resistance I enjoyed because the other characters did not really fall into that same trap. Uh, characters like Jaeger, uh, Niku, um, Niku, I should say, Tam, um, his other kind of friends, um, were much more realistic characters and well-developed. Niku was probably my favorite. His very funny... Um, really enjoyed the story elements that involved him. So I think that they made Kaz a little bit better, well-developed, and more realistic like the other characters in the show. It would have made for a stronger first season. I enjoyed the setting of the Colossus. I thought it was kind of a unique thing to kind of be set on almost like a big station that was in the ocean, you know, almost like a huge old drilling platform in our world. Um, and, you know, them all being kind of stuck together. It was basically kind of being you know, almost like a space station top thing, but it was on the ocean. That was interesting. Um, the one part of that I kind of miss is in Clone Wars and Rebels, one of my favorite parts was they were explored these various worlds that you haven't really seen before in Star Wars. And obviously since this season was really, for the most part, nearly entirely set on Colossus, the station, you kind of missed out on that element. But at the same time, it was kind of like Colossus became his own character in the show. The, um, the setting. So that was kind of um, interesting. Um, the villain being the First Order, um, the kind of First Order characters uh, were interesting, but I compared some of the villains in Rebels and Clone Wars, they weren't quite as intimidating or didn't come across as 
as a big of a threat. They were a little, um, they were down the totem pole a little bit, so they were more like stooges versus these brilliant uh, evil First Order leaders and stuff like that. Um, Poe, um, Poe Dameron is, um, makes some appearances in the show, so I always liked him. BB-8, uh, really enjoyed him. Like I said, Star Wars animated stuff always kills it with the droids, so BB-8 was awesome in the episodes that he was in. A lot of the secondary characters on Colossus I kind of enjoyed. Um, you got these little background joy, uh, jokes, like uh, my favorite was the one that, with the janitor, um, which if you haven't seen Resistance won't make sense, but there's this little gag with this janitor that kind of appears in all the episodes that I found really funny as you kind of look for him in the background as they were going around the station. Um, so overall Resistance I kind of thought was just okay. Was it bad? Um, I was never bored when I was watching it or like, why am I watching this? This is awful. Um, but I did not fall in love with it the same way I did with Clone Wars and Rebels, at least in season one. So um, I'm interested to see how season two went. I know Resistance is just a two season um, series, so already halfway through. Um, and I'm hoping you'll see some character development, especially with Kaz, and maybe he'll be a more enjoyable character in season two. Um, but if you've seen Star Wars Resistance, let me know what you think in the comment section below, what your favorite character, storyline, stuff were. Um, as always, please like the video if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. I hope you're enjoying this series of videos that I'm doing on animated Star Wars content. I know I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Um, <laughs> kind of sad that I'm almost over because I just had that one more season of the Resistance and then I'm done. So uh, I'll finally completed my journey of catching up in this huge aspect of Star Wars fandom that I've missed out on in the past. So anyway, it's been a fun trip so far. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.